You're watching the Ship on Day One Field Guide. I'm Hans. Let's get ship done. You're probably watching this video because you're interested in scaling out your configuration management. Maybe you have a good way of handling configuration in your code today, but it's not running at the scale that you want it to for your project or for your team. As software developers, you and I know that it's important to manage our configuration in a way that allows us to push different configurations to different boxes while running the same code, effectively managing our configuration separately from managing our code. During this video, we'll talk about two of the key strategies to think about as you scale your configuration management technology. The first, make sure that wherever you have a configuration setting that may have been previously committed to code but might cause material harm to your application or the APIs that you talk with, make sure that that configuration setting has been revoked. Probably the best example of this is API keys. Oftentimes, when you're beginning a project, you might commit an API key into source code. And this could happen often if you don't start out with a good configuration management system in each of your projects. When this happens, it means that that API key is tracked in the source code's history for posterity. And that means that someone could look it up and start using it. So, once you have abstracted your API keys into a configuration management system, make sure that you also go back and invalidate those API keys and rotate your keys to something new so that those keys are no longer valid and can't be used by bad actors to call APIs. The second thing that you want to think about when scaling out your configuration management is understanding what the scope of your environment is and how the how the configuration that you're setting up is going to interact with these environments. A good example of this is having a set of sensible defaults and overrides and understanding how they'll change when you think about the multiple stages of environments that you might have. A common example, if you have dev, QA, staging, and production environments, dev and QA are likely to leverage the same set of configuration. They might call out to a QA database and QA services. However, staging and production might call out to production databases and production services. In fact, staging and production configurations are likely to be extremely similar, maybe even almost identical, potentially with the exception of caching. It's more likely that you're going to want to cache on production than on staging. Keep these two things in mind, and you will find that you will have effectively scaled your configuration management system for a larger set of projects and hardened it so that it's easier to use on future projects. In other videos, we'll look at measuring and optimizing your configuration management systems that's more effective. You can find those videos and so many more at chiponday1.com. I'll see you there. Thank you.